Hi, Assalamualaikum to Miss Faika and my friends. I'm Siti Nozamila binti Rabu and I'm going to present to you guys about PA and oblique projection for hand. Okay, this is my radiograph. PA and oblique. The first one is projection. This is a radiograph of a PA projection of the hand. I say so because the distal heads of the third to fifth metacarpals are not superimposed with each other. Distal head of third to fifth metacarpals are not superimposed with each other. And then second to fifth of interphalangeal and metacarpal phalangeal joint space are appear open. This one and this one. And then the concavity of the metacarpal shelf is equal. After that, this is a radiograph of a oblique projection of the hand. I say so because the distal heads of the third to fifth metacarpals are seen superimposed with each other. Third to fifth metacarpals superimposed with each other. And then the distal heads of the second and third metacarpals do not overlap. After that, mid shelf of third to fifth metacarpals do not overlap. Then, this is a positioning criteria for true PA hand. Firstly, mid-shelf concavity is equal on both sides of phalanges and metacarpals of 2nd to 5th digit. After that, the thumb is seen in a 45 degree oblique position. And then, the IP and MCP joints are open. And then, third MCP joint is at the center of collimate field and includes distal phalanges and 2.5 cm of distal radius ulna. Based on my radiograph, the positioning for this projection is incorrect because detecting flat fingers due to the joint space are closed. And it has for shortening of the phalanges and metacarpals. After that, the concavity of the metacarpal shelf is not equal. And then the thumb is not in 45 degree oblique position. And to improve this, make sure patient's hand is close contact to table bucket. Then this is a positioning criteria for true oblique hand. Firstly, the hand is in an oblique 45 degree position which is externally rotated. Second to fifth metacarpal show more concavity on one side. First and second metacarpals are not superimposed and third to fifth metacarpal heads are slightly superimposed. And then, third MCP joint is at the center of collimate field and includes distal phalanges and 2.5 cm of distal radius ulna. Okay, based on my radiograph, the positioning for this projection is incorrect because obliquity of the hand is not true which is more than 45 degrees. And then third to fifth metacarpal heads are superimposed to each other. And to improve this, adjust obliquity of the hand so the MCP joins from 45 degree with IR. After that, the alignment for PA hand. Firstly, the alignment between extra tube with patient cannot be determined because there is no evidence of collimation on all four borders of the film. And then the alignment between extra tube with cassette also cannot be determined because there is no evidence of collimation on all four borders of the film. After that, the alignment between cassette with patient is incorrect 
because the distance between the center structure to the edges of filler, which is left to the right and at superior to inferior level, is not equal. The centering point for this radar graph cannot be determined because do not have four borders of collimation. But the standard centering point for this collimation is at third LCP joint. And then the alignment for oblique hand. The first one is the alignment between extra tube with patient cannot be determined because there is no evidence of collimation on all four borders of the film. And then the alignment between extra tube with cassette cannot be determined because there is no evidence of collimation on all four borders of the film. And then the alignment between cassette with patients is incorrect because the distance between the center structure to the edges of film, which is left to the right and at superior to inferior level, is not equal, which made Tom cut off. The centering point for this radiograph cannot be determined because do not have four borders of collimation. But the standard centering point for this collimation is at third MCP joint. And then collimation. For PE hand, at the superior border, the structures that should we include are distal phalanges, middle phalanges, and proximal phalanges. At the inferior border, the structures that should be included are scaphoid. Lunate and capitate. At lateral border, the structures that should be included are distal and proximal phalanges of first and fifth digit. And next for oblique hand, at the superior border, the structures that should be included are distal phalanges, middle phalanges, and proximal phalanges. At inferior border, Structures that should be include are scaphoid, lunate, and capitate. At lateral border, structures that should be include are distal and proximal phalanges of first and fifth digit. After that, we move to the exposure factor for PE hand. The KVP used is too much for penetration and radiographic contrast. This is because the bony cortical outline of the thin structure, which is the distal phalanges, cannot be seen. And the bony cortical outline of the thick structure, which is the distal radius head or copper bone, can be seen. Assumption for contrast is over penetrate. Then for density, the MAS use is too much for detail and density. This is because the bony trabecular pattern of the thin structure, which is the distal phalanges, cannot be seen. And the bony trabecular of the thick structure, which is the distal radial head or couple bone, can be seen. Assumption for density is overexposed. So, the KVP must be decreased by 15% and maintain original MAS. After that, we move to the exposure factor for oblique hand. The KVP use is too much for penetration and radiographic contrast. This is because the bony cortical outline of the thin structure, which is the distal phalanges, cannot be seen. And the bony cortical outline of the thick structure, which is the distal radius head or carpal bone, can be seen. Assumption for contrast is over penetrate. Then for density, the MAS use is too much for detail and density. This is because the bony trabecular pattern of the thin structure, which is the distal phalanges, cannot be seen. And the bony trabecular pattern of the thick structure, which is the distal radius head 
or culpable can be seen. Assumption for density is overexposed. So the cavity must be decreased by 15% and maintain original MAS. After that marker, for PA hand, there is evidence of an anatomical marker shown in the radiograph. It has a plumber marker, right annotation of the marker, and the marker is not superimposed with the region of interest. For oblique hand, there is no evidence of an anatomical marker shown in the radiograph. To improve this, put marker at the correct side of patient's hand and not superimposed with structures of interest. After that is the kick. For PA hand, the correct size of the film for PA hand is 18 times 24 cm, but the size of film for this radiograph is 24 times 30 cm because it's splitted with oblique hand projection. And there is evidence of artifact on the radiograph, which is a dot mark. The artifact is superimposed with region of interest. For oblique hand, the correct size of the film for oblique hand is 18 times 24 cm, but the size of film for this radiograph is also 24 times 30 cm because fit with PA hand projection and there is no evidence of artifact on the radiograph. After that name, for both radiograph, the patient's name, date and place of examination and registration number are clearly visualized on the radiograph at the appropriate area. And the information is not superimposed with the region of interest. The conclusion for PA hand, the radiograph is not acceptable because incorrect positioning and then incorrect exposure. After that, it has an artifact in the region of interest. The other one, which is oblique hand. The radiograph is not acceptable because the structure which is thumb cut off because incorrect alignment between cassette and patient, incorrect exposure, there is no marker and there is no collimation. And this is my references to complete my task. And that's all from me. Sorry for my mistakes and thank you. Stay healthy and Assalamualaikum.